you really know what time it is back with another video we doing this we doing it and doing it well yeah. so during quarantine you know we've just been not doing much but but we've been reading reading and doing like regular stuff besides going out i mean that's watching tv playing games and cooking we ain't doing shit yeah <laughs> So, you know, we haven't done a girl talk in a very, 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 very long time. So, today we're going to talk for you. We have some things to talk about. Something serious. This One book. of the books that I've read during quarantine is called Why Men Love Bitches. Men Love Bitches from Doormat to Dream Girl, a woman's guide to holding her own in a relationship. Now, originally, I just bought this book for like laughs and giggles. I'm not even gonna hold you. These women be going through it. Through it. Like, they were going through it in the comments. Basically, she breaks it up into a nice girl category and a bitch. So, you have a nice girl, which is like what would be considered as like the doormat, the pick me's, because you know. Via Twitter, if anyone don't know that phrase, pick me's. And then you have bitch is like someone who's like independent, strong on her own, and doesn't get wrapped up in a guy, basically. That's how she separates the nice girl versus bitch. Yeah. And the book link will be below in yes. the description as well if you want to purchase. How do you meet a, girl, a guy? Like, when you first get into a relationship with a guy, what was your experience when you first started talking to the guy? Like, meaning like when you first started like, like me, talking like to how, the, like, yeah, like just talk, talking, like, like really talk, like to talking. get to know them and hanging out with them. Like the first phases before, like, what was your first phase like when y'all started talking? Me, yeah, on my end, yeah. personally, I was like. I always wanted to text like I was just always into it always checking my phone every second and then I'd probably get out of if I wasn't getting a text message back <laughs> and then let me think more because I was like, <laughs> and then I hanging out wise let's see I always made time for him that's the, that's the shit like I always made time for him I always tried to figure out how to hang out with him. Even if I couldn't go out, I tried to figure that shit out. So, yeah, an idiot. Okay, so VA the book, you're, you will be considered, you for that experience, you'll be considered a nice girl. Because in the chapters, I like, like I'm going to be considered a nice girl. Too. She kind I hope not. I really <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Basically, from your experience, you were basically in the nice girl category because it breaks it down how like women sometimes women go into like relationships or like situationships with guys head on first like they're trying to accommodate they're trying to make the guy like them basically pay attention pay attention to them more and kind of like the girl wants to be around the guy all the time and that's basically over smothering i could say that i could that's not i think that's very like broad and vague mm -hmm. so how she describes it is guys don't like that like when a guy first talks i and i can say in my personal standpoint i've seen like the flips because i consider myself a bitch <laughs> according to the book only because with my personal experience i find like when you do less when you start talking to a guy like guys have like this it's like a cat cat and mouse i should mm -hmm. say so of course like, when you give a, a guy your number he's not gonna call you that first day you'll be lucky enough if he do call you because uh it's like a testing phase i could say so it's like guys put you like do a test they want to see how you react so say if you meet a guy firsthand and you you expecting him to text you or call you that same day he don't and then he hits you up like two days or three days later like hey what's up you remember me and you just be like bye boy but see no and, 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 and then it's like he's a mini yeah. thrown off because he's like one i really don't even know you and let's be honest if the roles were switched 
I know for a fact that if the roles were switched and I, I there was plenty of times where guys have gave me their number and I didn't even write the correct number on purpose because I know for a fact that I have no interest in calling yeah. or texting you and I'm not gonna call you or text you first like I yeah I need to clear it. like I I wasn't calling or texting him, blowing him up. Like, if he didn't hit me up a day, I'm like, whatever. And even when he hit me up late, I mean, I didn't, like, where the fuck were you these past couple mm -hmm. days? I wasn't me. Like, it was just in my feelings. And they're like, okay, well, fuck you. You're online, but you can't text me back type of thing. And he <laughs> did that on purpose. Yeah. But, but then, then, and then I'm like, and then, yeah. I always made time. Yeah, and that's the thing. Because I feel like, and then also she spoke about how, like, you're always trying to center your world to revolve around like making time for him and it's like is he doing that for you would he drop something for you yeah think about no. it. no i personally i feel like um when you're going into a relationship i feel like you should try to at least let just let things go, go with the flow. flow don't overdo it don't try to be overpowering i could say that don't try to be pushy pushy because then you start to seem like a mo mother figure mm -hmm. to the guy and guys don't like that they don't like when i could say and i've always thought that and then when i read the book she did mention something about that too i I mean, I mean, I feel like that. I could feel that. No Guys that, don't yeah. like, unless he's a especially, mama's boy. Especially in the beginning. Like, it's yeah, just, it's, the only way I feel like that will work is if you're dealing with a mama's boy. And you know the type of guys you're dealing with. So if you're dealing with a mama's boy, guess what? I'm telling you, you could probably be overprotective and you could do all that shit. Because he's looking for that. He's looking for someone that reflects his mom. That's why you gotta know the type of guys that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're dealing with a mama's boy... Guess what? You're the new mom. <laughs> You're just. I can't away. deal with no mama's boy. That's I can't very either. annoying. Because, honey, you and know, know when you have Linda a Linda cannot move in. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> And Nana. Nana, Nana, Nana gotta go with her Yeah, because they always be trying to bring mm -hmm. their mom everywhere. And they always, like, can my mama go vacation? No. I've, I've actually experienced a mama's boy before. He had introduced me to his mom and I was kind of confused because I was like, we just messing around. Like, you know, we not even dating that. And she was just like, he's my world. He's the only child. Black, 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 black. So, but like, we gonna talk about that today. How do you think sex affects a relationship? I think it affects it a big time. Hell. Um, early on. Mm -hmm. If you have sex early on, then they're not interested in you too much. They know they can get it anytime. They know they can get it easy. So they eventually not gonna be interested. And if you hold it out, and they can start to fall in love with you during that time that they holding out, it all depends on who you dealing with. So it's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it the right way. Yeah, yeah right sex. Way. But I learned through that. But I didn't do it the right way. Yeah, I can say like, sex do kind of shape the relationship, and it kind of. It kind of shapes how men look like, like I guess, yeah, look at you and how they chase you. Because let me tell you something, guys, test it. So if you're, I feel like if you're willing, this is my opinion, like if you, I feel like if you want a relationship, but you sleep with a guy on the first date, nine out of 10, that guy ain't gonna be on the same page with you. Cause you want a relationship, but you went about it the wrong way in my yeah, opinion show it. because you immediately gave him something that he did not work for it's not like you set a boundary or you set a tone for yourself like oh i just want like a little fling with this guy or a one night stand you don't want that you want a relationship but you already let him talk you out of your drawers so the relationship is only in your mind and in his mind you became a booty call yeah. in my opinion i agree like they, it's like a test phase and like the like i said that's why i'm gonna get that book the i'm book, gonna read it and i'm gonna learn the book really like it's like one of the chapters to um how well, all right we could say like when you are in like the relationship phase now when you guys are dating and you're in a relationship 
how do you as a person change in your relationship do you change your life to revolve around the guy or do you still continue to do the same shit that you've been doing before you got into a relationship with him and that also brings me to say do you have the same friends you did before when you got into a relationship with him go to like say if you go to the spa all the time do you still do that say if you got your nails done all the time do you still do that so asking yourself do you still do the same thing so what did you change and she breaks it down saying like when you cancel the activities that you're used to doing by yourself to accommodate him you start doing it more and then that's how you somehow lose yourself in a not really that much but you lose yourself a little bit unless you go overboard where you completely Ooh, cut so everybody yeah. off and it's just hey I feel yeah. bad for people that in a relationship like that. I don't have anything to say to you when your back. relationship fell and you trying to come back to me. I don't have anything to say to you because you don't just cut somebody off for a dick. That's how I view it. Yeah. That's not he's not husband. doing that. And even if he was your husband, he's not doing that. You completely yeah, stop your that, life yeah. for him and, and he's still living his life that and she tackles that's what I'm telling y'all y'all need to get this book because everything that I mentioned she really tackles everything and it's just like giving your mind more insight of how to deal with relationship and also if you are public if you like public display in your relationship or non-public um, display how do you think public display change your relationship do it change your relationship do it end your relationship because you know a lot of people say facebook twitter and all that type of shit and their relationships both not secure enough in your relationship questions to ponder because baby the internet can't break something that is strong <laughs> Period. <laughs> Internet can't break what is strong already. If you are secure in your relationship, people who's hitting up your nigga in the DMs, it shouldn't matter. He ain't gonna be worried about those girls because yeah. he got you. People who's trying to slide onto him, people commenting on heart eyes and all of that onto his pictures. If that bothers you, sis, you don't need to be in a relationship. I feel like as a woman, you need to be strong. You have to love yourself first. Love yourself. Yeah, love yourself first in a relationship because... Because if you don't love yourself first and you're in a relationship, then you're just going to be looking, you're going to be fishing for the compliments and just fishing for them to, like, make you feel better. Then once they're gone, then what? Fishing for attention. And they can easily break you down, so... But yeah, men love to... I'm not going to hold y'all, but men kind of do, like, see you... They, it's interesting. Because they know they can build... They, they build you up and they know they can build you up. They're going to try to build you down, bring mm -hmm. you down, and they're going to, it's comedy to them. Mm-hmm. I've sliced somebody, no. <laughs> guys do like attention too. Yeah. Let me tell you, they would do stuff to get your attention, and if you ain't giving them the right attention that they're looking for, let me tell you, make, try to make your guy jealous, use another guy, be like, oh, I'm going to call X, Y, and Z, and he'll do it. Or well, I'll call blah, 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 and they'll go with me. You nigga ain't going to like that. A, a nigga don't want another nigga doing anything. How you, mm -hmm. Why you think everybody, all the niggas are so upset at Future? With the whole Future and, uh, I'm not upset at Future. They're with Future, but they with, uh, what's the thing? Russell. Russell. Why you think a lot of guys <laughs> think that stepdaddy shit ain't cute? Because they don't like seeing another man doing yeah. what they're supposed to. Pay attention, ladies. You gotta use this game on these niggas. So, <laughs> let these, if you want a nigga to be in your face, make him mad. Mm -hmm. I used to do, that was just Make great. him mad. Making them, making them jealous is fucking fun. Men cannot take that. They can't. A they man can. cannot watch and you a man obviously, doing anything for their person. They don't like that. That's when y'all break up and you in a whole nother relationship and they mad or they pop back up again. It's cause they wanna they don't wanna see you with nobody else. Yeah. And he and guess what? He's gonna hit you up and test it to see if you forgot all about him. And the minute you reply back to him giving him any opening that he can come back in your life. He's going to ponder that and he's going to dig deep until he's finally in. And once he's in, he's going to get out once you you drop what ain't else. Shit. Niggas really ain't, ain't shit. shit. Niggas ain't shit. Damn, my eyes on. But house and jail. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That was it, really? Like, cause you don't yeah. want to give away too much. I don't want to really. I really want y'all to read this book because I mean, yeah, I really want y'all to. But I can't really give too much away because it's just like very vague, but inspired. But I can say three bullet points the back of the book i could read that to y'all it <laughs> said why are men romantic at first and then change i know a lot of you women want to know why Get the why do men take night girls for granted because we can read the book why does a man respect a woman when she stands up for help like i told you men don't like punks read the book yeah, yes. literally the set the literally all the advice that you guys know is really the basic concept of being a strong woman not a doormat we're talking about having so much self-respect of we the yeah. franklin with high five yeah. you just can't lose your self-respect that's basically what the book is trying to teach you not to lose your self-respect in the eyes of a guy mm -hmm. oh period I think that's about it. Public, oh yeah, public. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people like public display. A lot of people don't. Yeah, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And that's all I can say. Personally, I would give a book. Who <laughs> pictures he liking? I don't care who dropped oh, yeah. hard eyes on his picture. I don't care about none of that stuff because. If we got but see, good going here's on. my thing that I feel like the girls who care about it aren't secure in their relationship. They don't trust their they, man. Yeah, they, they know don't. what type of person they're dealing with, and they're so just, that's why. They, yeah, they're just blinded by the puppy dog phase. Too. And then if you feel in that way, then maybe you need to get out the relationship. And they're not. Let me tell you something. Four letters. Listen. Move. Ah <laughs> ah uh, ah. Uh, uh.